In order to explain an emulsion, we're using magnets just to model it. Please do not think that the magnets will form an emulsion, they will not. It's just for the purpose of understanding. Here I have oil and here I have water. Water and oil molecules do not mix. And this can be shown by our little demonstration of the water molecules moving to oil molecules and they don't ever want to stick together. However, if I take an emulsifier and I place it between an emulsion, between an, uh, a water and, a, and oil, the emulsifier has what we call a hydrophilic end which holds onto water molecules and a hydrophobic end which pushes away water molecules but holds onto the oil molecules. So therefore, when the oil and water can no longer want to touch each other or molecules do not want to bond together or hold each other together, we then put in what we call an emulsifier. And what we find is that the emulsifier hydrophobic end pulls the oil molecule in and the emulsifier's hydrophilic end pulls in the water molecule. And therefore, we now have the oil and water mixed together, forming an emulsion. Now, a good emulsifier is one that can keep the emulsion stable for a very long time, meaning keeping the water and oil mixed together for a very long time. However, if the emulsifier is a weak emulsifier, you'll find that the separation of water and oil will take place after a very short time. So a good emulsifier keeps uh, hydrophilic and hydrophobic molecules bonded together, kept together for a longer period of time, and a weaker emulsifier do doesn't keep it together for a longer time. So therefore, we are going to now look at what makes a good emulsion. Thank <laughs> you.